Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and guess what? We have another E3 Vault preview card to talk about. This one came to us from Wizards of the Coast off their official Facebook page, and it's a pretty cool one, and we'll get into it in just a second. Just a quick reminder first, though, if you check out the description below, you'll see some links for our Amazon affiliate store as well as our Patreon page. If you check either of those out and are able to contribute, uh, either way, it really helps out the channel. So thank you very much. But even if you're not able to do that, if you like the information and like the continuous news feed here, uh, definitely give us a like and that will help other folks find the channel. And that's a huge deal as well. Having said that, let's get into the card for this evening. And it's a good one. Heart of Karen, cost two, legendary artifact vehicle, mythic rare, 4-4, four, four, flying vigilance, crew three. And the caveat to this is you may remove a loyalty counter from a planeswalker you control rather than pay its crew cost. So a couple things from a flavor point of view. Love the fact that it's named, of course, after Chandra's father. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, and a planeswalker can fly it. And why not, right? Because creatures can fly vehicles or through vehicles. Why not a planeswalker? So I think that's an awesome kind of flavor push to this card might not always come into play but when it does i think it's going to be pretty cool uh especially like i'm thinking formats like perhaps cube commander where you have more planeswalkers kind of lying around the battlefield that that might be a kind of a cool way to have an alternate use for them uh now as far as a more competitive format like standard goes for example i think this could get there just because the casting cost is so low i mean paying two for this granted the crew is three so a little bit goes into that uh, but you get this on the battlefield just for two mana and it can smash in as a four four flying vigilance creature potentially on turn three it's actually a pretty big deal it's not always going to work out that way sure your opponent's going to have something to say about that but when it does happen it's going to feel real good and you know what if it doesn't happen on turn three if it happens on turn four or turn five a four four flying vigilance creature is still very good right <laughs> regardless of what turn it's happening so as far as where you'd want to see this played to me, just right off the top of my head, I feel like an aggro deck. Because a lot of times if you played aggro, you know that you're using a lot of like 2-1 and 3-2 creatures. And you can usually get a lot of damage off quickly. Like a lot of times you can get 12, 15 points of damage off. But then your opponent gets their shields up and you kind of get stuck. And you have to find a way around uh, what your opponent's doing at this point to kind of get to your win condition. Uh, what's nice about this is I play a 2-1 on turn 1. Then I go ahead and play this on turn two, and then maybe a three two on turn three. Now I have the ability or the option to, as the game goes on, crew this and just attack in with a four four flying vigilance creature. There's many other uses depending on how the meta game unfolds. Uh, but I do think anytime you're putting this much on a card that's only going to cost you two, guess what? This will definitely see some play. I think this is a very very strong card. So keep an eye out for it. Having said that. That's the card for this evening. I'll continue to keep my ears open and watch out for any other reveals over the next few days, of course. And if any more cards come out, we'll be back with a video. We'll talk about them. Hopefully keep you informed and start thinking about standard. They'll be coming up and changing in really just a few weeks at this point. So until next time, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks as always for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.